Welcome to War Thunder with Subdude. How y'all doing today? Well, this is kind of a odd thing. I did not expect to get into the dev server today, but here we are. Now, I've taken a quick look through already, and we've gotten absolutely nothing in USA, Germany, USSR, Britain, Japan, Italy, or France. I don't even look at China because I'm not interested in anything there. But Sweden does have her aviation tech tree. Now, this is going to be kind of an interesting run through. We're just going to take a look through them. Um, we're not going to be taking out planes for flights. We're not going to be doing in-depth analysis. It's just a quick look through. All right. First up, let's go to the top. We have the JA Day. Now, everyone's had the access to the JA Day. I believe if you haven't had access, you needed to buy the part the the. the this plane, Pramersky, whatever. I can't pronounce it. My mouth doesn't work that way. But, or you needed to purchase the J-29D. I purchased the J-29D. I've had access to the J-8A. Interesting little plane. You now get access to the J-6B, another biplane. We'll take a look at it real quick. Uh, customization. Real old school look. I would almost say that that has a bit of the uh, old uh, albatross look. Not in the wings so much, but in the uh, nose. If you don't know what the albatross is, it's not the uh, Eastern European jet. It's the German World War I biplane fighter. Ah... Uh, Two 8mm machine guns, 500 rounds each, and it looks like they are mounted just in front of the pilot, firing through the propeller hub, and past the engines, the engine cylinders. So, that's interesting. It's a biplane, so it's going to maneuver like a madman, anyhow. Now you got the J-11. Preview that. The J-11 looks like a little bit more modern. Uh, this looks like the Italian CR-42. And I will bet that that's exactly what it is. It's got the 12.7mm uh, Akan M40 machine guns with 900 rounds. So that's 450 rounds per gun. 256 miles an hour. You do the metric conversion. Uh, 17,000 feet. It does its high speed. Uh, max altitude is 27,800. Or 27880. Nice looking plane. I think I like the green a lot better than I like the Italian look. Ah, uh, then we come down to the J22A. We'll preview that real quick. J22A. Uh, it was shown in the. Um, the War Thunder preview, the War Thunder stream. Now we have two 13.2 millimeter machine guns with 500 rounds. We have two 8 millimeter machine guns 
with 500 rounds. So instead of making this times two, they just one and one. And if you want to know what they look like, the x ray. Here's your 13s. There's your 8 millimeters. Not bad. And hold on a second. All right. And we got fuel in there, fuel there, fuel there. Uh, oil cooling system right in front of the pilot. And another oil cooling system down below. And then you have your engine, which is 900 and some odd horsepower. 958 horsepower. Not a bad engine. But it's still no screamer. Now we got the J22B. We'll preview that beastie. First off, three bladed prop. Modifications. We have the 13.2 millimeter cannons or guns, machine guns. Uh, ground targets. We have uh, high explosive fragmentation tracer. Interesting. And AP, AP, AP. Air targets, we have hefty, hefty, AP, hefty. And stealth, we got AP, AP, AP. Okay. And you can see it's got four machine guns. Go to the x-ray. The engine is the same. And speed is roughly the same. Nice looking plane. Uh, I'd say it's probably, if you really wanted to put it on par with something, I'd say the Buffalo, the F2A2, or the uh, P36, maybe the Wildcat. Although it's a little faster than the Wildcat and the P-36 and the Buffalo <laughs> by about 10 miles an hour. So, I mean, it, it's a good looking little plane. It'll probably be lots of fun. Battle rating 2.7. So, yeah, rank, rank 3 is a bit high. I'd say this would be about a rank 2 aircraft. But, still... Nice looking plane. The uh, landing gear is wide enough so that it won't tip over when you turn real quick. Well, hopefully it won't. And, uh, yeah. Nice looking plane. And now we go to something really absurd. <clears throat> the J-26. Would anybody like to take a guess at what the A26 or J26 is? I mean, look at that speed. 426 miles an hour. She can move. She can climb to what? 41,000 feet. She has 2,080 rounds in six machine guns. Let's see. Price isn't bad. RP isn't bad. For a rank 4 battle rating 4.0 Mustang. Yep, it's a Mustang. Modifications. You'll be able to carry a 
50 kilogram bomb times two. X-ray, the Packard, Merlin. The A-cans are probably just browning recycles, or not recycles, um, license built. Recycles is not the right term. But you got oil cooling, liquid cooling, fuel tank, fuel tank, uh, oil cooling. It's a Mustang. Armor, yeah, it's a Mustang. Then we go to the J29s. Now we got the A model. Now I'm not going to bring them up for different looks, but you got the A model, which has four 20 millimeter cannons with 720 rounds. It's got one armament preset. This is an air to air plane. This plane is meant to go toe to toe with aircraft. You have the J-29F, which has four 20mm cannons, 720 rounds, and three armament presets. Let's take a look at the modifications on this plane. Without load, with 24 rockets, which are basically ground attack rockets, not armor rockets. And we have two air-to-air -air RB-24 missiles. These are basically Sidewinder Bs, AIM-9 Bs. Explosive mass, 4.6 kilograms. They have a 6G maximum overload, which means they're AIM-9 Bs. And we have the J-28B. What sort of modifications does this plane have? Because it has no armament preset. It does have four 20 millimeter cannons with 600 rounds of ammo. It can do a whopping 508 miles an hour. And get to 34, 35,000 feet. What do you suppose it is? It is a vampire. So, a British retread. And then we have the JA-29B. Four 20 millimeter cannons. Five armament presets. So let's just take a look through the modifications here. We have the ground attack rockets, 24 of them. We have the M49A rockets, 14 of them. They are armor, anti armor rockets, 500 millimeters of penetration. They're going to put a hurt on whatever they hit. We have the M51, 14 of those. They are soft target rockets, 36 millimeters of penetration, big boom. Let's see, they have uh, 3.4 kilograms of explosive. The anti-armor rockets have the same amount, but they penetrate much better. And then we have the M49, four of them. These are the big boys, and they have 500 and, or 5.25 kilograms of explosive. 
Uh, again, soft target rockets. Big soft targets, but soft targets. Probably use them against ships quite neat, neatly when ships are available to the Swedish line. Uh, but they all look basically the same. You know, it's a J-29 tuning, tuning, whatever. But they all have 20 millimeter cannons. Let's get to the piste de resistance. The J-32B, the Lanson. Lanson carries four 30 millimeter cannons with 360 rounds. It has four armament presets. We'll take a look at those momentarily. It can do 704 miles an hour at sea level. It can climb to 41,000 feet. It has a 34.4 meters a second climb or turn time. Excuse me. 34.4 second turn time. It can climb at 16,666 feet per minute. That's an initial climb rate. It will slow down as it goes up. And a takeoff run of roughly 3,000 feet. Required RP, 390,000. 510,000 to purchase and 290,000 to put it into a crew slot. Yeah. Preview. And there we have it, the Lanson. Take a look in the x-ray. Lots of gas in the wings, gas around the engine, more fuel, more fuel. The engine, a Svenska Flagmotor RM6A jet engine. It has a mass of 1,400 kilograms, a max thrust of 4,400 kilograms, and a takeoff thrust of 5,336 kilograms. Ninety rounds per gun on the 30 millimeters. B frugal, two-man crew. Doesn't mean a lot. Armor. 15 millimeters, 50 millimeter bird strike glass, 10 millimeters behind the pilot and co-pilot. Without load means you got guns only. With these rockets, they are soft target rockets, M57Bs, with about 0.71 kilograms of explosive mass of RDX. Then you have the RB24-4s of them. They are the heat-seeking sidewinders. And then you have the combination of the RB24s and the M57Bs. Air target rounds, heffy heffy T. Ground targets, AP heffy T, AP. Stealth, AP heffy. Might as well just use the AP heffy T with the default. You make your own choices though. Uh, Lanson. Good looking plane. I like it. It's uh, definitely 
one of the nicer looking planes. And uh, I noticed somebody said it looked like somebody crossed it with the uh, uh, Swift with the uh, F-80 in the uh, War Thunder Live. And uh, now this one's definitely uh, Jimmy Durante knows. It's a good looking plane. Two man. I think it's going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I am a little suspect about battle rating six, though. Battle rating six. Yeah, let's look at what's in battle rating six. Battle rating six. F-86, F-2... The F nine F eight, the F J four B, the F one hundred D, and the Phantom F four C. That's just the U S line. C L thirteen A, C L thirteen B, Mig nineteen. Yeah. MiG-17, PT, MiG-19, PT, MiG-21, F-13. Uh-huh. Hunter F-1, Javelin, Hunter F-6, Phantom, FGR-2. Japan, T-2. Italy, CL-13 Mark IV, G91YS, F-86K, France, Super Mystere, F-86K, F-100D, and then we're in Sweden when you've got the Lanzan. Uh, I don't know how it's going to fare, honestly. Um... The battle rating, I think, 9.0 is stretching it severely. 8.7 might have been better. <sighs> Sorry, that was a yawn. And I don't know. We'll have to see when people actually start playing it. And I'm sure that the people who have more money than brains will probably be flying it most quickly. And we will find out just how good it is. All right. I am pretty much going to call that an afternoon. This is Subdude signing out. Uh, I did not go over any of the ships. I did not go over any tanks. And if there were any helicopters, I'm not going over them either. I don't play any of those. So there you have it. This is Subdude signing out. Y'all have a pleasant today, a better tomorrow. And we'll catch you in the skies and air realistic. And hopefully this patch will be out in a week or so. Bye-bye, folks.